is going to be a big piece of our future. We shouldn't worry about it, except the degree to which we want those jobs in Connecticut. Okay, probably take one more. Okay, James, you've had your hand up for a long time. Mr. Lamont, so as you know, Governor Elmer's staff have been suffering from a lack of public trust regarding openness and kind of honesty. Um, what measures would your administration take to be kind of more transparent and be more open and make sure that the public kind of understands every step that you take and everything that goes on? Oh boy, James, that's a good question. I, I, one thing I can tell you is the governor's been a little absent. You've got to come to meetings like this. I mean, people don't understand the scale of the crisis confronting our state. Everybody seems to think, uh, you know, it's everybody's going through it. No, for 20 years we've been up and behind the eight ball. And I just tell you that one thing I learned, you know, campaigning my heart out four years ago is, you know, people are ready for the truth. I mean, they're ready to do what it takes. They know it's going to take spending, it's going to take taxes, they know it's going to take some sacrifice, they know in the long term if we make those decisions now we'll be better off and that you and your friends will be more likely to stay in Connecticut. And, um, I, it's, it's, I'm sort of, I don't have an easy answer. I can tell you to put it all up on the internet or something like that. But I can tell you as a governor, I'm going to be out there talking to people every day and uh, explaining this is where we're going. I was leaving. I mean, the one thing that people dislike more than anything else, and the one reason that people are discouraged from investing and growing and hiring, is lack of certainty. In Connecticut, there was no certainty. Who wants to invest? Who wants to hire when you have no idea what the mix of taxes and spending are going to be? I, I'd argue to you that people care less about exactly what that mix is, just knowing it's solved. We don't have a three and a half billion dollar deficit that's going to be on somebody else's watch. People want to know where's our state going. I don't expect you to solve transportation in the next six months or a year, but give me an idea of what Connecticut's going to look like five and ten years out. That's how you get small businesses to say, I want to be part of that team. I want to get on board that train before it leaves the station. And that's how we get Connecticut growing again. So I think it's a matter of just getting out there. It's a matter of getting on offense. That's what Connecticut's got to do. Get out of that defensive crouch and get on offense. I can use your help. We've got a, we got a lot of great candidates running for office. And that, I think that's wonderful. I mean, given the scale of what's going on, I think I'm somebody who comes in a little bit from the outside, somebody who's not afraid to take on the political establishment. I think you know that. Go up to Hartford, shake things up a little bit, but treat everybody with respect. Know that we're going to come up with an honest solution. And I'm the one guy that's created jobs. And I think that's the fundamental issue confronting the state. And I can sure use your help. Thanks, Glastonbury. <laughs>